I was just playing some tunes on this harp uh, that were written by 17th century Irish composers. <clears throat> and uh, this particular harp is designed after an Irish harp uh, that I saw in Ireland, and I decided I wanted to build one myself, and so I did some research, and I found out that the Irish preferred certain technical uh, aspects of an instrument in order to play their type of music. So what I did was I, I put a certain string spacing on here that the Irish prefer. I put certain hardware on here that the Irish prefer, this uh, precision uh, lever system. And the wood itself is uh, North American wood. It's called quilted maple. And uh, this is a beautiful wood from the Pacific Northwest. Uh, and this uh, soundboard here is Western Red Cedar from British Columbia, uh, up, in the, up in that part of Canada. that produces beautiful uh, tone woods for musical instruments. So uh, this harp has uh, special strings. They're called fluorocarbon. All this up here is fluorocarbon. It's a, a bright, clear, focused tone. A harp like this would take me oh, two or three weeks to make. And... Uh, I would say that uh, maybe 24 a year would be about as many as I can produce. So we've got 24 a year of these, 12 of them going to Ireland right now, and 12 of them are going to other parts of the world, including Canada and USA and, uh, and Europe and so on. So the model of this harp is called an Aaron, uh, and it's spelled E-I-R-E-A-N-N. -N. Actually, it should be Krushna Aaron, which means the harp of Ireland in the Irish Gaelic language. Uh, I was inspired by harps that I saw in Ireland, so I named it after uh, an Irish harp, an Irish name. Now, a traditional harp in Ireland, by the way, the ancient harps would have had metal strung strings, or maybe a metal strung harp, and with bronze or brass wire. So the, that kind of harp would be totally different than this one, because this one has the fluorocarbon, modern, high-tech type of a string on it. But what I was looking for in a harp... Uh, was something that was lightweight, that really wasn't very large. You could put it in the back of a small car if you wanted to. Uh, it would have uh, a nice voice so that when I played it, um, the sound would project. As you know, the Irish like to have music sessions, maybe sitting in a pub or a friend's house. And uh, the other instruments can actually be overwhelming to a small harp. So I wanted a harp that would project and give a, a, a voice uh, to the harp. It's quite often small harps cannot be heard when they're played uh, in a, an ensemble with a lot of other instruments. So this instrument is designed to have a, a very good projection as well as good bass and uh, very sparkly treble. So those are the features, uh, features of this harp that I think that uh, get people to consider it when they go to buy a, a musical instrument especially if they're going to do a traditional uh, musical style.